1970s, a new generation of leaders emerged in what is known as the Chicano Movement. Here's a festival program from 1975 that featured Teatro Chicano with Abelardo Hernandez. And then the Ballet Mestizo had family participation from the Gonzalez, Barrientos, Hernandez, Torres, Juarez, Martinez, and Montalongo families. The Ballet Mestizo had an advanced group of adults and then a youth group that danced classic favorites such as the Jarabe Tapatillo and La Raspa. The homemade costumes were tailored by the Hernandez and Barrientos families. Like other decades, Mexican families wanted to share their cultural pride. The Chicano Winter Center was incorporated in 1971 and was the heart of the festivities that took place in its basement and at 24th and O Street. And then, new musicians and singers arrived on the scene, such as Ronaldo Cervantes, Ezequiel Espejo, Mary Barrientos Espejo, Ben Miranda, and Mary Lou Granados, just to name a few. These musicians took the music to new levels that continued the Mexican traditions in mariachi classics, but also formed bands to play at festivals and dances. In 1970s, Ezequiel Espejo brought the guitarón from Mexico to now be incorporated into the mariachi sound. Our Lady of Guadalupe also had festivals that started in 1966. As the 1980s arrived, Mexican-American families continued to thrive in festivities by incorporating a parade along historic South 24th Street, which would go on to be the heart of the community. In this decade, the South Tamal business sector experienced a downturn in its economy, but with Mexican-American families growing, we would later see that turn around New leaders emerged to keep the traditions alive and take the festivities to a new level. The parade became a popular feature where business and organizations lined up to participate in the celebration. New generations of dancers and musicians continued to perform, which would now take place at the Plaza de la Raza at 24th and N. Wearing the traditional outfits of Mexico still reigned as a popular attraction in this decade. Also in this time period, the Omaha Hispanic Coalition formed to assist in leadership and festivities. The parade would never stop and soon become one of its biggest attractions. In the 1990s, the Chicano Winter Center continued to expand its programs and outreach while the fiesta carried on. Las Estritas de Omaha Mariachi Music Program was formed by Dr. Jim Ramirez and Rosemary Flores and would perform at community events while Cinco de Mayo will continue to grow in South Tamal to become even more popular than ever. <laughs> 